friend. Okay. Hello, hello. Can everyone hear me okay? Is that mine loud enough or is this one louder? Um, I think this is Okay, got it, got it. Perfect. Thank you, my Don't friend. Oh, it would be funny if it did fall, but we'll not do that today. Who here has seen a chiropractor before? Look at that. I need more hands up in the future next time I come next year. Okay. <laughs> my biggest thing with chiropractic, especially for seniors, is keeping you guys active and keeping you guys strong, correct? Pain-free. Number one thing, I've done talks at the Senior Center in Upland, the Gibson Center, since 2016, I think. And the reason I do that talk every month, I take, I think, December off or, or uh, around Thanksgiving off. A lot of it is I want to keep you active and healthy because I want to keep you independent. Is that important to you guys? Yes, yes right? Okay. To do that, we have to work on one thing today. One thing I want to get to you guys before you guys get busy and have all the sugar from all the cake and everything you guys are eating right now, too. And I want you to focus on your sitting position. Okay, I like to give my patients, my talks, quick things to start doing. Perfect, look at that guy, look at that guy sitting set up right there, getting set up, okay? As I want to focus on one thing. When you sit, do you sit like this? Ugh. Does that feel good to you? Sometimes. Sometimes, right? Sometimes. A better, if you want to sit here, you guys have, how long does bingo last for? 10 minutes, five minutes? I don't play bingo, I don't know. All day. Do you guys have beds in the back to take a nap? I would need a nap. I'm a nap guy. This is what I do. Okay. What I would do, if I'm going to sit all day, I'm going to make sure my body can stay seated all day and not get up from a chair after all day and go, okay, where's my chiropractor? What time do they close today? Okay. So for me, for my patients, when I have them sit for work or for at home, whatever it is too, I want them sitting more upright. So I tell my patients, the back of the chair is for decoration. Okay, that's what I tell people. It's not meant to be here all day doing this. Because once your body goes in a, a crunched position, a compressed position, your spine goes, ah, what are you doing to me all day? I want to make sure I'm open and decompressed, not compressed. Because here where your body, your spine, your bones feel more relaxed back here. Here they feel compressed angry and sad and tired okay so if the back is decoration what do we do with our tush we're going to put our tush forward our glutes here at the edge of the chair if you can again based on your balance also here that if you can bring your legs instead of being in front here bring your legs a little bit behind you either on the side or underneath your chair so you're more upright here if we're here more upright if you can see that okay I can go around in a second too and check you guys. Up here, more upright, then our body can actually work better, stay active and strong versus here, stretched out, weak and compressed. Does that make sense? Okay, I, I can do what you want me to do on top of the table? Probably do, but I won't do that. It's too crazy. Okay, but I want to make sure you're sitting upright, legs underneath, because when your legs are underneath you, at that point, your feet are with your shoulders, so your center of gravity is here instead of being here. What happens all day long, that thing upstairs called gravity pushes us down, right? I'd rather it push me back a little bit than push me forward. Because if I get pushed forward, I stand up, now I've shrunk three inches. Who wants to be more upright versus down? I want to be more upright versus down, exactly. Okay, so one thing, if I had a wall here, I would show you too. Say this is a wall here, but if you're standing, okay, and I use people, with, for example, walkers or wheelchairs, at that point, or, or uh, canes, I want you more upright here as much as possible versus being down here. To do that, using a wall, say with a wall over there, I'd want you to go against the wall with your heels, your hips, your shoulders, and your head, so we stand up against that wall just for 30 seconds or so, so we feel what good posture is like. Okay, when you talk about standing and walking, if you can stand and walk more like this, much as you can, then our body can reset itself here, our brain can, instead of what your normal posture might be. If I'm here all day long, that's my normal. I want my normal more ideal back here over time with my patients, with you guys too. At that point, our body stays upright and strong 
versus down here where our hips get tight, our low back gets weak, and over our body feels like it has to stay here. So as much as you can, when you're at home, or even right now if you want to, or later on today, because you're going to be here all day, at that point, if you take a break, take your chair and lean back just a little bit on that chair, you're holding the chair for balance, and see how far you can go on your heels without losing your balance a little bit. If we can get our body to stress a little bit, a little bit of uncomfortableness allows your body to reset our body here so we can stand and walk better and over time get our body more upright so we have less back pain, less neck pain, less shoulder pain, less hip pain, less knee pain, less ankle pain. Okay? I'm too busy as it is. Birth the nose. I'm too busy as it is. I want to make sure I don't get to see you or if I do see you because at that point we got to reset everything back here. Any questions yet? No questions? Okay. Who has, who feels like their shoulders are rolling forward? Anyone doing this? Okay. So we got to do is one thing is we want to make sure if we're going to sit down here and we get tired because we're winning all day long at bingo, we go, man, I have so much money to count, so many cards to count. Man, what am I going to do with all my time? At that point, I want you to focus on one thing. Take your shoulder, just bring your shoulder back like this. Simple things. Okay. I'm using gravity and my arm to come back a little bit more. If I'm coming back this way with my arm, allows me to get that shoulder to come back. Instead of being here, uh, hunch forward, more back here to where now our body stays more open here. And this may feel a little uncomfortable, maybe a little sore, but I like that because that's causing a difference in your body to cause a change in your body. So that nerve that goes from your shoulder to your brain goes, oh, that's uncomfortable. If I do this long enough, hold that for 10 seconds at a time, relax 10 seconds at a time, at that point my brain goes, that's uncomfortable. Over time it becomes comfortable to you. Instead of being tight, sore, and comfortable here over time. Okay? Who has, and a lot of things that deal with patients is, no one comes in with, I have poor posture, doctor, I want to fix my posture. No. They have pain in their neck, back, shoulders, headaches, hips, uh, ankles, knees, wherever it is too. I'm trying to help you fix your posture first so at that point you don't have the problems my patients have. If you can do that now, at that point your body can actually feel good all the time. So at that point when you have a problem, call me. But if not, you can actually know how to fix yourself. My job as a chiropractor, I think, is to be a better educator than just a chiropractor by helping people stay healthy, not just get them well. I think that's my biggest thing. With you guys, Staying independent, independent, independent by doing the right things every day makes your body healthy. How often should you worry about your posture, about exercise, about stretching? Do that once a week or how often should you worry about that? Every day. Okay. I have younger patients, right? I ask them, when, when do you stretch? They go, eh, sometimes Monday, sometimes, sometimes Thursday. I go, tell them, do it on the days that end with Y. What days end with Y? What day is that? Every day ends with Y, correct? Every day, because every day we're, we're sitting, we're standing, we're doing this. If you make this every day your position, then your body relearns how to stay here as your normal versus your default being here. Then, instead of walking this way forward, then you start walking more upright because, oh, that doctor, ugh, my back hurts now because you're changing your body. That change of position again would be uncomfortable, but it'll help you long term not have back pain, hip pain, shoulder pain, and feel like I'm going toward the ground. All right? So one thing is make sure your body stays up. Big thing. Okay? Stay in decompression, not compression. And wherever you're comfortable, go back a little bit more on your heels if you can. And if you feel comfortable, even take a chair too, and chair here, lean back, and just come down real slow where you're comfortable, come back up. Do this 10 times, morning and night. That one keeps your body more upright versus here. Okay? Versus here, versus here, versus here. I had a lady coming a couple years ago. She didn't have a lot of pain. Her problem was she ran into people. She ran, because she, she ran, she ran into people because her head was here. She couldn't see them. So I want to make sure you don't do that happen to you guys. That point you guys stay healthy and strong and active and independent. That point I don't have to see you. 
All right, any questions at all? Nothing? One more thing, okay? One more thing, okay? If you have hip pain, okay, or back pain, try this position, okay? This is a, this is a complex one. Bring your foot side of your chair and bring that foot behind you just a little bit more than you're comfortable. Just a little more comfortable on the side of the chair. That point allows you to stretch out your quad a little bit, your hip and your lower back. Since you'll be here all day and don't give you a nap, they make you stay all day long here. At that point, try this stretch a little bit here, bring your foot back a little bit behind you, and see if that helps your hips and your lower back stay a little bit looser so you don't have to, you don't have, to have someone carry you out here at the end of the day. All right? So the little things you can do, this one again, the shoulder one back here, worrying about where your feet are underneath you, front of the chair, use the back as decoration for one, two. Stand on your heels, use a wall when you're at home or later on today. Stand against the wall and feel that position with your head, shoulders, back, hips, and heels allows you to stay strong. All right? Anything else? Any questions at all? I just want to give you simple things we want to start today. At that point, like again, you'll have information in the directory when it comes out this next, uh, this next year, I guess, when it comes out. When's it come out, Rafe? When's the directory come out? Yeah, so at that point you have my information there or some of my patients here, so you can ask them and, and at that point uh, we'll, we'll go from there. Sure. All right, yes? Yeah, I do a shoulder adjustment for patients too. Not a lot of doctors do that, a lot of doctors do that. At that point, the shoulder adjustment, but also shoulder rehab too. Good, that brings up another point. A lot of my patients, they get exercise from my my YouTube, my channel. I have a lot of stuff on social media, on YouTube, on Google, on Facebook, Instabook, um, Tic Tac Toe, all those, it's all those websites. I do all of them. But I give my patients videos how to stretch, how to strengthen. So at that point you have not only, say, a workshop here, but also at home, I can watch that video again. So I send them the link for that video. But yeah, at that point I do the shoulders also. Yep. All right. Thank you. Any other questions with Dr. Tony? Yes, ma'am. If someone's had back surgery, as long as there's not rods and screws in their spine, yes, we do treat patients for back surgery. We do in our office also is we take x-rays inside our office. We show you right there in the same room, show you the x-ray so you know what normal is, what your x-ray is like, and how we're going to help you fix that x-ray of your neck, back, shoulder, ankles, whatever part of your body you want x-rayed. Take them right there. We don't waste any time. At that point, we save a lot of patients. A lot of patients tell us that you save me. They, they say they have back pain, right? They call their insurance company, call the doctor. Doctor said, I'll see you in three weeks, four weeks. If I have back pain, it's nine out of 10 level. Do you want to see someone in three to four weeks? No. I see someone sometimes the same day or the next day. At that point, get them in right away, get it diagnosed right away, they understand what the problem is with the x-ray, get treatment right away. I had a patient from UPS come in uh, about, I think, a year and a year and a half ago, on Monday, upset, angry, frustrated. Because he had back pain over the weekend from helping somebody move, so he went to the ER. If you go to the emergency room, how long are you going to wait? Five minutes? Ten minutes? Waited four hours. The doctor said, well, here's some medication. Go home. He goes, I could have done, I could have done that, gone to CVS or Rite Aid. He came to my office that Monday morning, got treatment, and within ten minutes, he was like 100% better. He was like, why did I waste my time? Your patient there before. So once you know where to go and how to treat your body, at that point you know where to go and what to do. All right, so any other questions? Yes? I charge $10,000 in my office. Oh. And you get a senior discount. Yes. My senior discount, if you have Medicare, okay, and again, Medicare without a secondary, and again, I'm not insured, my office manager does all that stuff too. If you have Medicare without a secondary, it's, 29, it's, it's $5 or $10 copay. The most you charge seniors, someone over 60, 65, is $29 if you have no insurance at all or if you have a secondary. But number one thing for us is, excuse me, the number one thing is to make sure you get the examination and if x-rays so you know what's going on with your body. And then I can give you exercises, again, no charge to you, how to help your body stay healthy so you become your best doctor. All right? Yes, ma'am. Yes. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, we do. We have we have you call the office. If that will give you a card on the way out. If you call the office, call them today. They'll see appointment for tomorrow. At that point, we don't waste any time. Myself, my chiropractor, my partner, myself, we can treat people the next day. We don't waste any time. It's very convenient. We're good. Yes. Rakovic. Yep. Silent T. Croatian. From Sprzic. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I'll have, I'll have some on the table over there. I didn't bring a lot of them today. We just moved our office to, to a Mountain and, a, and a Foothill. Mountain and 11th Street, right below Foothill. Oh, we're right there. But I'll make sure I have information. And, and if, you, if you have any questions about what I do, Bertha's right over here. She's my spokesperson. She'll be here all day. There you go, there you go. She's been a patient for a while because I think a lot of it is we help our, our seniors not only get better, less pain, but we also help them and motivate them to stay healthy. I think that's the key. Bertha? Good. I have to give a testimonial. <laughs> I went to Dr. Tony because my posture was really bad. My head was really forward. And also I had uh, shoulder issues. Mm. And so not only did he adjust me, but he also gave me exercises for me to do so that I was not only that you go and you know get adjusted and then that was that, but he does make me work. He makes me do those mm -hmm. Yes, and I, and I always check with Bertha too. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I always make sure when I see the patient next visit, how the exercises go. Do you need more exercise? How'd it go? So I always, in my head, I have a file somewhere in my head of every patient. I don't know how that happens, of how that stretch go, how'd your walking go, hitting your miles every day. So I want to make sure not only am I your a chiropractor per se, I'm your health guidance coach, if you want to call it that. So I'm checking with you all the time. If you don't do your exercise, I'm like, all right, we'll have to work on this again. You know, I, I want to make, I'm going to motivate you, positive or negative, because I want you healthy. Because if you're not healthy, what happens? You're in bed. You can't come to bingo all day. You know? <laughs> then what do you do with your life? I don't know how that works. I don't know. So thank you for having me. Any questions? Any other questions? In the back, front, side? Nothing? All right. Any questions, let her know, and I'll leave some information on the table for you. Okay, thank you.